Hey everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you, how to create a simple flat avatar using Adobe Illustrator. Ok. Open a new document of width 2000 pixels, and height of 1500 pixels. Then, give any name you like. Press Ctrl plus R, and get the ruler. Now, open any photo, that you need to make the flat avatar. Here, I will use a photo of the famous actor Johnny Depp. You can download this photo through the link in description. Go to Layers Palette, and lock this layer. Drag the guideline, to the middle of the picture. Pick the Rectangle tool, and draw a rectangle like this, while holding Alt key. Pull down the lower edge of the square to the bottom of chin. Select the square and go to, Object, Path and select add anchor points. Do that step, again. Now we have more anchor points on the rectangle. Select those six anchor points while holding shift key and remove it. Now select the two anchor points in the bottom, and press enter. Change horizontal value to 0 pixel, and vertical value to minus 225 pixels. Select the anchor points, and round the corners, like this. Let's draw the hat. Get the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle. Round the corners, until you satisfy. Move cursor to the guideline, and draw a rectangle while holding Alt key. Round corners, like before. I will increase the stroke size a little bit. Then we can see strokes properly. Now we have created the basic shape of the face. I will use pen tool to draw the remaining parts. Let's draw the hair. Pick the pen tool and click any point. Then move cursor to another place. Click, and drag, like this. By using those handles, you can increase the curvature of the line. By clicking on the anchor point, you can remove handles. Likewise complete the hair. Get some time to do this part. Cool. Let's duplicate the shape. Right click the shape and go to, transform, reflect. Make sure to select axis as vertical. Place the shape properly. Let's draw the eyebrows. Get the pen tool, and draw like this. Now move to moustache. Don't try to draw, with more details. Always try to be simple.
cool. We don't need to draw both side the image. After complete the left side we can duplicate the shapes and place in the right side. So select all the shape inside the face, right click and go to transform, reflect. Make sure to select axis as vertical. Now place the shapes properly. Cool. After placing the shapes, you can compound using Pathfinder palette. After compound both shapes, the middle stroke will disappear. Now move to the nose. Get the ellipse tool and draw a circle like this. Then rotate it a little bit. We can use pen tool to do the remainings. So pick the pen tool and draw like this. Follow my steps carefully. I will take this circle to front. Add a fill to the circle, and remove the stroke. Now, duplicate the left side and place in the right side. OK. Select the middle two shapes and compound using Pathfinder palette. Now move to the neck. Get the pen tool, and draw like this. When we creating flat avatars always need to be simple. Then duplicate. Right click on the shape and go to transform, reflect. Make sure to select axis as vertical. Place the new shape properly. Select both shapes, and compound. Select all the shapes, and click here to activate stroke. Then change color to black. Now we can see the stroke lines clearly. We have finished making the basic shape of the flat avatar. Let's add colors, and make more attractive. Go to layers palette, and unlock the layer which holding the picture. Duplicate the picture by dragging, and holding ALT key. Then place it like this. You can hide the layer, by clicking this eye mark. Select, neck and face shapes. Right click and send it to back. Press I, to get eyedropper tool. Find the best skin tone, by clicking on the picture. Cool. I will pick this color. Now select all the shapes of hair, moustache and eyebrows. Press I, and get the eyedropper tool. Then choose the best matching colors. Here, I will choose this brown color. Let's move to the hat. Pick the eyedropper tool and pick the best matching colors as we did before. I will bring this shape to front. Now, complete the hat. OK. I have choose this gray color, and I will round the corners little bit like this. Click this shape and drag to down, while holding Shift and Alt keys.
I will increase the scale little bit. Now, pick a lighter color, as fill. I will choose light gray. Select this both shapes and pick shape builder tool. Then remove the bottom part by holding Alt key. Let's move to the nose. Select this two elliptical shapes, and add a little bit dark color than skin tone. I will choose this color. Likewise add a color to the other shape. Click this circular shape and bring it to front. Now pick the ellipse tool and draw a circular shape like this in the middle. Select both neck and the circular shape. Then pick the shape builder tool and remove the unwanted part by holding Alt key. Right click and send it to back. I will add a gradient to this shape. Since it will give more attractive look than a solid color. Adjust the gradient, as you like. Cool. Now select all the shapes and get a copy by pressing Ctrl plus C. Then press Ctrl plus F to paste front. Go to Pathfinder Palette, and Compound. Fill this shape with black color. Then pick the scissors tool and divide the shape into two parts by selecting the anchor points of top and the bottom. Click, and delete the left side. Select the black shape and change the blending mode to multiply. Change the opacity to 20%. Now make the colors of the shirt. Pick the pen tool, and draw like this. Press I, to get eyedropper tool. Then pick any color to the shape. Right click the shape and go to transform, reflect. Make sure to select axis as vertical. Place the shape properly. Cool. Now we have almost finished the making flat avatar. Let's add a background. Pick the ellipse tool and draw a circle, while holding shift and alt keys. Give any color, as fill. Right click and send it to back. Group all the shapes by pressing ctrl plus G and align into middle. Let's draw the shadow. Pick the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle like this. Give it little bit dark color. Now rotate the shape and place like this.
select both rectangle and the circle. Then send it to back. Pick the shape builder tool, and remove the unwanted part by holding alt key. Cool. Now we have finished making the flat avatar. I hope you have learned something new today. If you have any questions, mention them in the comments section. Make sure to like this video as well as to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching and have a great day.